195,000 followers on Instagram. Then all of a sudden, I checked um, Messi's account and I saw 1 million. I was like, ah, what's happening here? Hi. Has the bike price been paid? Yes, <laughs> complete. I gave them the change. <laughs> but you know that was what happened. I told them keep the change, y'all. Are you serious? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How do you feel, sis? I feel. What do you feel? That which woman does that? Which married woman does that? Which mother does that? He was just ranting. In my head, I'm like, who help you to pay bride price? So, in my own opinion, Bero actually messed up. Marriage was even over, almost over, before it even started. I was like, eh, eh, people of God. <laughs> Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Zainab. I am a wedding and a lifestyle content creator from Lagos, Nigeria. What's your name? I'd like to know your name. <laughs> from the title, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. So um, let me just get straight into the video. Guys, this divorce is, I don't know, the rate at which Nollywood marriages, celebrity marriages are crashing, breaking left, right, center. Look at Ubi Franklin and Lilian Sorrow, guys. Like, I thought that they were like the most perfect couple then all of a sudden started hearing this, started hearing that I was like which one we believe in King? Which one? And let's be frank guys, it's because these people are actually popular that's why we hear about their um, broken marriages, their, you know that's why we hear about them. If they were not popular we wouldn't hear about them. They would just be like normal, you know, normal people. So it's about um, Benro and um, Ben Rajibadi and Osasi Godar guys I love this couple I loved them and I love I, I still love them you know like within me I am how do, how do I is it secretly or you know just hoping that they get back together they, they come back together somehow I don't know but I just hope that they come back together somehow, some way. They should just find their way back together. I'm just going to be talking about their, you know, whole um, divorce issues, separation, marriage, blah, blah, blah. I did not want to believe that, you know, they were having marital issues that would lead to, you know, divorce. That's why it's good, eh? Don't, don't use your, don't use social media as a, as a yardstick for anything in your life. Because you don't know what is happening behind people's behind people's lives. There was one time that Gwen Rajibade, I think when they were still having like issues, they had not yet divorced. Gwen Ro came out to say that Osas went for a party, she left the, the child, I think for a party till 5 a.m. she left her child in the arms of another woman. That which woman does that, which married woman does that, which mother does that. He was just ranting. In my head I'm like, who help you to pay bride price? Why are you coming to Instagram to, you know, to rant? Well, there I feel that Benro actually messed up there. Benro shouldn't have come out. Whatever the case, social media did not help you to marry. So in my own opinion, Benro actually messed up. I don't want to know what Osas did. It's not that I'm being biased. But for you to bring your relationship to social media, to Instagram of all places, to come and rant. Who are you ranting for? Who helped you to pay by bride price? Who helped you to marry Osas? So don't bring your relationship to social media for somebody to come and judge for you to is it for him to get like pity or something i don't understand well there i think he messed up being rumors people were saying all sorts of things guys nigerians can be so savage eh? nigerians they were saying that being rule married or sad because of his, um the u.s passport that you know he did not love um osas that he just wanted that u.s pass passport that is it people were also saying that um he married her for the money um you know they didn't really love each other it was just that the marriage was even over almost over before it even started out there eh, eh, people of god <laughs> i was like ah, ah people of god they psychoanalyzed they've analyzed left analyzed right the marriage what happened how do you know how do you know how do you people know that the marriage was even almost over before it even started do people know the amount of money they spent on wedding traditional wedding in Benin and a white wedding in New York that's I'm sure it must have cost like a whole lot of money and money is not that money is not joke so for them to come as I, I I choose not to believe that the marriage was even over before it started. I choose not to believe that child. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Right, okay, this marriage is not up to four years. 
it's not up to four years. I think they got married in maybe 2017 or 2016. I can't really remember. But it's not a very like long marriage. So I, it, I'm scared. Like, how? How do you people get to that point of divorce? People are still like, something must have happened. Something very significant must have happened. That is just it. Comment in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think I'm right? Did something significant really happen to them? Something significant really happened to their relationship that you know made them divorce. What we what do you think happened? So I'll be talking about mercenaries. She be that's what Messi calls. <laughs> it sounds like machine, but anyways, that's what Messi calls her fans and you know Titans, Tacha Titans, that's what Tacha calls her fans too. I feel like some fans are jobless i think so i have said this like a million times on my channel a million times these people they don't send you okay there is this um you know when you get to one million when you have one million followers on instagram it's like you built a house you know in the air or something like that that's what people think they don't know that followers on instagram does not equal the number or the amount of money you have in your account it does not so do not judge your life based on what you see on social media. So recently, Tatcha reached um, 1 million followers on Instagram. And I think at that point, because I remember Messi had about 995 or there about 995,000 followers on Instagram. Then all of a sudden, I checked um, Messi's account and I saw 1 million. I was like, ah, what is happening here? So the next thing I saw was a video where Messi was talking about her numbers just shooting up from nowhere, saying that, you know, they should stop buying followers for her, people should stop buying followers for her, that she doesn't need all that, that what she needs is, you know, money in her bank account. Yes, girl needs money in her bank account, guys. And which I think kind of um, makes sense because the number of followers you have on Instagram does not equal the number of, you know, the amount of money you have in your bank account. You are not going to put down your CV that. I have 4 million, you know, followers on Instagram. You are not going to put that on, you know, on your CV or whatever, guys. So it doesn't really make sense. So uh, what she said actually, you know, makes a lot of sense. That all these people, they are ghost followers. Where did they come from? It all boils down to competing. Like some of her fans that don't know what they want to use money for. Please, people should come and give me the money. If you don't know what to use money for, please come and give me. I need the money. So, anyways, um, some of her fans probably bought followers for her, bought fake accounts, I guess, open fake accounts, followed her just to get her up to um, 1 million followers. Guys, as I speak now, I don't know what's going to happen the next day, but as I'm speaking, I checked and Mercy is back to about 995,000 followers. On Instagram so what does that actually mean probably she was the one that deleted them or maybe the person took it down or I don't really know sure but people should just let these people be Tatcha Messi they are fine mercenaries Titans people should face your own life face your own life I'll continue saying this on my channel because maybe somebody somewhere will click on my video and watch it you never can tell mercenaries Titans people should face your life these people are facing their life. They are traveling to Ekiti, traveling to Dubai, traveling everywhere. So leave them. Let them do their thing. Do your own thing. You can support them. Nobody is saying don't support them. But all these things are unnecessary. Like unnecessary things. We should be channeling that energy into our lives. You know, start do it. Start a YouTube channel. Start talking about them. Not, you know. I don't understand what I'm saying, guys. I feel like I have overflowed this issue, but. I think I still need to overflog it. I still need to overflog it, guys. But anyways, um, that is that for mercenaries and titans. I hope that, you know, somebody, somewhere, this video is going to touch somebody's heart. Somewhere. If you like my video, please give it a very, very fat thumbs up. And uh, comment, you know, down there. Let me know what you think. And yes, I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. God bless you. See you in my next video. Bye.